Maya, Maya. It's Maya. You young. I call her you young. Yeah, her personality is. It's always like fast pace. She lives like if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up space. She's a force. It's amazing. I knew her to be my brother. So when I would go there, everybody would look, because my brother was famous. She was also famous. And then eventually he told me about, oh, this is Maya, a girlfriend. And I was like, okay, okay. Maya Babes. Oh, I call her as Maya Babes, by the way. She's, I love to call her Maya Babes. She loves good things. She loves to make sure she's, she's staying well. She's looking good as usual. And everybody around her is comfortable and she's very accommodative. Maya is so, so inspirational. Like, she motivates me. Not only me, even just the family at large, she motivates us. Um, I think she's really got this go-getter, boss lady mindset, which is amazing. There's someone that can walk into a room and you're going to notice her. And I think, you know, um, as young business people, young people who want to do things, the movers and shakers, you always want to, I think we always have big dreams, but really um, it's those small steps that you, you, you really take and you're intentional about them and you say, hey, I'm, I'm thinking of this idea and actually actioning it. So that, that's, that's a cool thing that I've seen from my Yuya, just from an entrepreneurial mindset. Because looking at where she's coming from, we started humble beginnings and, you know, we'd have all these talks in the room and we used to call each other Luya Babes. But seeing Yuya now, she's done a lot by herself. From the selling of the different stuff she used to sell. She had a saloon at her home. She transformed inside running the shop. Now you see Glamville, it's a full spa. You're going to see a lot of glam, definitely. And hustle. <laughs> to hustle and literally look glamorous while doing it make it look effortless i want i want the viewers to basically see how possible it is to live your dreams if you just put your mind to it gosh is a force I'm Mayuya, the beautypreneur. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. My husband and I are so different. He's on the quiet side. I'm on the outgoing side. So our personalities are different, but it is in that difference that we actually just gel. It's beautiful. I love beauty. I can wake up every day and smile even as I offer a service to somebody because I absolutely love it. I'm thinking of the young girl out there who has no hope, who's thinking, this is it, this is the end. I'm here to tell my story, to inspire somebody. I know who I am, I know what's embedded in me, I know the fundamentals, I know what has got me this far, I know why I can do what I do with confidence. I have no regrets, I don't hold back. God has seen me through it all and I'm grateful and I'm here to inspire. It is what it is, that's all. Already. Latoya, Latoya. Wow. I literally gave birth to myself. It's crazy. Like every time I see her, I'm like, God, really? Latoya is a spitting image of me. Did you brush your hair? Uh, no. Let's go. You need to brush your hair. Have you had your breakfast? Yes. Not yet? Yeah. And I'm Sander. And I'm really late. Yeah? Take a seat there. Latoya is impatient and I always tell her, baby girl, you need to be patient. Give mommy some time, I mean, to get glammed up. I need time. What Latoya wants, Latoya must get. What did you want for breakfast today? 
um, I want an apple, some um, and also some. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Good. You got exactly what you wanted, Latoya. Let me heat up your milk. Lemon water for mommy and Rice Krispies for Latoya. Hurry, Lala. Come on. I'm going to change. And when I come back, you should be done with your food. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'm trying to build this responsible young girl, so to say. So Latoya, she will do so many things on her own. I think she's gotten to that age. So she only needs help when she can't and she'll ask for it. But half the times we just, you know, let her do her. Latoya, time to go now. Are you done? I have a long day. I have a lot on my plate. I will hurry up the glam to do what I gotta do. So I just dropped my daughter off at school and I'm heading to Glamville. We're having our usual monthly meeting. Glamville is like my firstborn child and I always say that and I always say that. It's like the way you nurture a baby. You gotta be there for it, it's a baby. The vision was a place of glamour. That's what it means. Glam, glamour, bill, place in French. Good morning, Team Glanville. Good morning. I can't do Glanville without a meeting. I think it helps us, you know, think and speak the same language and just go back to the drawing board. What is a vision? What is, what is it that we're trying to accomplish? What matters to Glanville? On today's agenda, we're going to be talking targets. We're going to be talking sales. And of course, my favorite custom service, and creativity and innovation because as Glamville we're always about creating, innovating, coming up with the new trends, ETC. So we're going to touch a bit about that. I like to hear, you know, from the employees as well. Meetings, you know, they give us that in-depth information of what's going on and what we can do better and just guidance because I know constantly they have to hear from the CEO. We have a vision, we have a goal. Let's do that. Targets. I want to know, are we meeting our targets? Restaurants, how are we doing? How are the sales? Are they improving? Are we yeah. going down? Yeah. The sales are improving a bit. A bit? Yeah, a bit. I can say they're improving a bit. A bit? <laughs> Here's the thing about Glamville. I literally was scared to go into running a restaurant and a bar and having to actually say I'm going to do this, it took a lot because it's not really in my field, but the bar and restaurant complement Glamville. Sometimes we find that when we write uh, the requisition, I can say it takes years for the stock to, to come in. So mm -hmm. I think that's the reason. Yes, Augustine. <laughs> Augustine's choice of words though, they never cease to amaze me. My name is Augustine Zimba. I've been at Glamville for eight months now. I don't know if we're the ones who are supposed to be pushing, but we're ready to buy all those things. Welly, what is happening? It's you, man. Right? Me? Yeah, it's you. As far as when a requisition comes, I make sure I meet the money, correct? Yes. Whenever you need anything, I expense what you've asked for. So how is it me? There's a lot that goes on before I actually approve a requisition. And for me, I'm about, does it make business sense? And I'm gonna keep stressing that. I'm not gonna approve a requisition that is 20,000 kwacha, and we only made 10,000 kwacha. You know, for the understand, understand, I'm not gonna to I'm pretty sure Bawedi has been moving with requisition to pay up Madam. Otherwise, in Gabala, pay up Madam. Stocking a color of that's the total in Bamande the following day, and after two days, maybe Vashta. The way it's always worked, requisition is for man. Before. 
Okay? Yeah. Mufuile, if for example for this week, Sunday, you're supposed to release a requisition mm-hmm. for the things to be bought the next week. But that doesn't happen. Correct me if I'm wrong. I cannot release cash for just the bar. He cannot go shopping for just the bar. Yeah, he true. has to buy for the bar and the restaurant. Mm-hmm. You need to work as a team. Exactly. Okay? So we move on to the salon. Okay. Rent, I would say the cells. Uh-huh. <laughs> My heart breaks. Literally. The salon is my baby, you know, it's it's where glam will be gone. I'm so passionate about the salon. Yes, it could be because there are so many salons around, okay, in the market, at the bus stop, anywhere. People call hairdressers to their houses, but that should not stop people from coming to Glamville. Glamville is about setting the trend. Glamville's a trendsetter. Anywhere you go, I've had clients who come from Lusaka, they have their braids done at Glamville, and Lusaka's asking, and it's Glamville, baby. So, we set the trends. We need to ensure we're on top of our game. Front desk, you've got internet. Let them come through. Let them browse, guys. This is your career, okay? You should also take it personal. It's what you do. You should be looking out for new hairstyles. Don't be on Instagram and Facebook and just checking what's happening. Who or what? Take time to also just see what hairstyles are trending. And then you bring them to me. I'm always available. In fact, I'm a damn bad stuff we look for. Otherwise, but salon balafai koko bakadi pirefin. They are not doing their research like they used to. At this point, we have grown. I expect them to come to me and give me proposals, and I tell them, yes, we can try this, and we actually try it together. And if I'm not getting any of that, it's 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 a problem. It really is a problem. We always have the new trending hairstyle calling people. Correct? Yes, Mr. Hairstyles that are everywhere on the market. Chances are people are not going to come really. So we have to be innovative all the time as hairdressers. And I always tell you, Mule Lukana, okay? Plate each other's hair because you yourself, you are an advert, okay? Umuntukutai sa, they want makeup, but they look at the person who's doing their makeup. Na lukum in shishishisum. Make sure that you're on point. I tell you, be on point. I'm on point. I love to be on point. When I'm on point, I'm confident. When I'm on point, I can conquer the world. And I, I'm gonna keep saying that. It really does affect me. When people do not take their personal career, which they chose for themselves very seriously. I'm not gonna push you into doing something if you don't have the motivation yourself, because it begins with you. And if you're not gonna take your career seriously, I'm just gonna let you go. Bye. I think we're doing right, right? Mm. Although I feel like manpower is pretty limited. Clients are really coming in, although we have to do the booking slots and all that. It's really helping, but still poor family. As far as employing more people, if the numbers are making sense, then the sales are showing and the demand all our time slots are filled up. Especially with Nancy when it comes to manicures. Yeah. No, it's definitely something I can look into. We can advertise and then employ more people. The spa needs more manpower. I get it. They're right. I do need to employ. And I will. But I just want the right people, you know. And quality. It's not the easiest to find. The other challenge that we're having is for the products that we order outside Zambia. They really take time to come in. As far as products, I'm constantly singing about that chanda. Okay. Because I tell you to say, make sure when your requisition comes, it's specific. Because stuff that's outside, it takes a lot to order and also ship. If the issue is products running out, then it means you need to put in your requisition much earlier. I think the other problem is that you guys who are working with products, you will see that you're running out of a certain product, but you haven't taken it to front desk. You get a call, oh, nani nani po. Those are the common issues. When you were getting the wigs and you were braiding the last person, you could have put that in. I can't just stop what I'm doing to start expensing money for him to go. It just doesn't happen like that. 
You know, we're a business, there's a system, let's follow the system. Glanville has a system in place. We have a way of doing things, so you cannot just come ukulai taitefintu, like mpakantemba. No, it's not a kantemba. It needs to go through procurement, accounts, and then, of course, me. I think it's time we take more responsibility. I don't have a problem with Nancy. You're so organized with your nails, and, and I know you haven't run out of anything in a long time. Oh, Nancy, she's a gem. I love to give credit where it's due, and Nancy deserves it. Our nails speak for themselves. She's someone that told me from the get-go to say, I just want to do nails. And if you can train me for nails, I will stick. And I did that and she's stuck and she's improved. She has learned so much more by herself. I, I, I don't even think the training could do justice, really. That girl, she's on point. She hands her requisitions in good time. She does the nails very excellently and she's become a household favorite. Like, everywhere I go, Glanville Nancy. Like, girl, wow. I, I absolutely adore her. I'm going to wrap it up. I want to talk about customer service because I'm all about my customers. Hey, let me even stand for this one. I am just about to get into the most important part of the meeting, my clients. I'm so big on my clients. And you want to give me a big problem? What is a big problem? I don't have a place of blue. Place, yeah. Who's responsible for the plate? Is it me or you? Well, you ask your simple question, huh? And Chanda. Okay. Five requisitions there on Mumpera. Five apple plates. Oh, Mr. So. Da. So, how am I supposed to guess? I am going to release cash for what you have given me totals for. There are no numbers. Bonse na Mumpu Vukila. Hello, if you feel good, please, guys. It's just an added bonus. I need to wrap up this meeting, so I don't see why they should be coming at me for a plate. Let them do it the right way, put in a requisition, give me an amount, and then we'll discuss. With Glanville, we all know that what is P1 is to ensure every customer is attended to and they leave smiling. I'm big on customer service, so we will have a refresher training on customer service. I'll let you know. I think when it comes to customer service, you never stop training. I'm always investing in customer service because if my client isn't happy, chances are they're not going to return. I've told myself I will never get too comfortable because that is dangerous. Treat your clients like it's the first time they've come. Just like Lambo, let somebody come to the spa and feel like everything is new. But other than that, we need to create new drinks, food, because we always have to update our menu. We'll probably have to set a date. Speak to Lombe. Okay. We need to set a date. I don't know why she's not here. Lombe is my PA, but I think she's torn between two worlds. She's an artist and then she's my PA. To conclude this meeting, we are Team Glanville. We're about excellence. We're about doing it right the first time so we don't redo it. We're about being the best. Team Glanville is about the best and we just recruit the best. What do you call yourself? The best waiter in Indola. Uh, yeah. Wear those smiles, do your work with excellence. We're about bringing new trends, innovation. We're about, you know, making people feel glamorous. Us ourselves must always be glamorous too. We're here to serve people. We're here to make them feel beautiful. When a woman or anybody is beautiful, when they feel their best, they're confident, they're able to do their best in whatever it is that they do. Okay, on the count of one, two, three. All right, guys, meeting is over. Hey. Hi, good afternoon. So we have a requisition mm -hmm. yeah, of stuff that needs to be bought for the spine salon. Okay. 
Now, Chanda, this is what I was talking about in the meeting earlier. I just spoke about this in the meeting. I said clearly that our requisitions must be specific. And how soon are these things needed? Soon, because we have a client, so it seems like they're out of jail. Yeah, Good job. So by, by Barcelona and Asia. How are we out of jail? Yeah, and out. you're saying now? Um, I was just told by Barcelona that we're out, so they have a client that's in now. Uh, now? Yes, Mrs. I want to you and this is what I keep talking about. You have a client in front of you. Honestly, you could have ordered that gel prior. You even knew the client is coming that day. We work with booking. Always plan prior, even when yes. a product is about to finish. Make sure people bring in the requisition. So you need to sit down with the girls. I had a yes. meeting. So I need you to tell me how you're going to move forward. Let me make some calls. Okay. Yeah, but go through this. Okay. Chanda, Mrs. O, ask uh, Willie and Lombe to try and check in town. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Quickly. Okay. Doesn't it make sense that when you're using the last bit, you put in a requisition to say, we're as good as done with this. Please, can we have? And I always tell them, like, don't wait for last minute. When you get the last container, you already know. I need that you tell me in good time. Because even I can't, I don't have a private jet, okay? I'm not there yet. I'm not gonna just bring things there and then. I need you to tell me in good time. And the problem is they lack communication skills to just communicate. And I will make it a point that they learn that because as long as they don't have that, my business is going to suffer. Paradise is one of the new drinks that the bar came up with. Like I said, I'm open to suggestions. It makes me so excited. I can't wait to try it and just give a review. This has just got to be added to the menu. Rainbow Paradise. Looks nice. Thank you. But Madame Bante Motsuma. How much? Nishwa ba wina. Michael, you are aware we're doing drinks tasting tomorrow. Yeah. What drinks are we tasting? So we always have food and drink tasting, and I just want to get like independent opinions of what people think about what we're trying to put out there before it actually goes out there. This is nice. Okay. You know what? At the end of the day, there's always something to smile about. And that drink. The Rainbow Paradise. Hey. I'm about the colors and everything. I love bright things. Anybody that knows me knows I'm that bright chick. Can you do like a fruit cocktail with freshly squeezed juice? Yes, that would be good. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay. I'm looking forward to the food and drinks tasting. After tasting such a drink, who wouldn't? Where is Lombe? I'm constantly asking myself, do I need a PA? If I'm gonna do the work by myself. Maya, really, you need to sit this girl down and get your act together. What do you want? I don't want bits and pieces of Lombe, no. If she's gonna be my PA, I want the whole of her. Hey, sh What a day. Leonidas, oof. Perfect spot to end a stressful day. My name is Lombe Chiti. I'm the leader of the Beautypreneurs PA. It's been a long day for her, and I believe the best way to catch up is at Leonidas where she can relax, drink something, and even just have something to eat. 
Right now, I am so upset and I'm trying to compose this beautiful face. Hi, Mrs. Zhao. I don't think you deserve my smile today. Okay, what have I not done? Where have you been? Uh, you are not a glamble. I know you were with Willy. You've been out literally the whole day. I'm just gonna give her a piece of my mind right now. So excuse me if I'm not friendly, but she needs to get it. I'm really sorry, Mrs. L, because today was a bit tricky. I did not expect my producer to call me and expect me to go in studio for long. I understand you're an artist and everything, but you also have a PA job with me and you need to do me before you do music. I'm not a small music artist. It's one of those things where my producer calls me and says, hey, yo, Lombe, I've got a beat I need you to jump on. And you know, I was excited. I haven't been in the studio for a while. And so I was like, hey, cool. I sneaked out, you know. Uh, I put everything together. The Glamville meeting was arranged. Everybody knew they had to be there. And so I thought, hey, I could sneak out for a bit and I'll be able to, you know, catch up on everything else that was needed, but hey, Little did I know that more trouble was waiting for me. You're full time doing me. So in your spare time, you can do music. That's what we agreed, right? Yes, we did agree that in my bad, but I did pick it up with Lawrence from Lusaka. I spoke to Lauren. Yeah, he did mention that she spoke to him. I kind of feel you need to decide, you know? I'm not gonna push you into this PA job. I feel everybody should be free with what they wanna do. At the end of it all, if you wanna be an artist, that's fine. If you wanna do PA job, that's fine. I need that you should inform me and tell me to say, I've got this and this and this going on. I'm really sorry. I don't need to just wonder where is Lombe. There should be communication between us. The thing I love about Mayuya is that she is a communicator. She communicates. When she's upset and she's angry with you, she's not gonna come with a frowning face. Like, I'm not gonna talk to you. Hey, you did this and that. No, she will be calm. She'll be smiling. She will let you know she's not happy. You will know that you've done something that has, you know, got in her angry and she will tell you, you will know. And it is gonna be a wake up call that you need to put your acts together. But if you're gonna do PA job, I need you to do PA job. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have someone else do it. Now, I hear you mm -hmm. and I do love my job as your PA because honestly it gets me to practice as a journalist that I am, you know, yeah. helping you, you do your calendar and all, mm -hmm. especially that I'm not doing broadcast at the moment. Being my New Year's PA has been breathtaking. You know, it's allowed me to do a number of other things that I've been passionate about, music especially. One of the things that Maya and I keep going back and forth about is my time. I'm adjusting, I'm trying, I really am. You know, I just want her to understand that it was not deliberate. I saw a chance, took it, without realizing that, you know, other things remained hanging. I just need you to acknowledge you're wrong and we're good. So yes, she's constantly apologizing and I can feel my heart softening and just, you know, releasing her because she's a sweetheart at the end of the day. She is, she is. And I mean, if she owns up to her wrongs, who am I? You ready to order? Yes, I am. Let me have cranberry juice and then I'm um, gonna have like a chicken salad. Um, what do you have for the steak? We have the pepper steak. All right, I can give that a try. What, what comes on the side? Mashed potato? Or... Mashed potato, rice, as well as a bowl of chips. So you have to choose the side that you love. If I'm gonna cheat, I'll cheat with the chips. <laughs> yeah, give me some chips. All right. Yeah! I love potatoes. <laughs> Beef fries, wedges, even just boiled. Hello, I wake up on to soup. I want, if it's anybody who was made for a cab, like a potato, it is me. You've got a crazy week coming up. Mm -hmm. I did get in touch with Augustine and uh, Michael as well. Mm -hmm. Drink testing is happening this week. I'm gonna call out my girls, my friends. I'm just thinking Abby, April, Misty, anybody that can make it and just, you know, dive in.
Glenville's turning 10, by the way. Yes, 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 yes. So for 10 years, we need to do something. I'm thinking more of expansion. This time I'm going big. I'm going bigger. New services will always do that, but 10 years, you don't think it needs like a new store somewhere? Um, well, I'm eager to hear where you're looking at going um, because I know your social media team definitely is going to give you, of course, all the numbers. That, that has to happen in the boardroom, so mm -hmm. just schedule those appointments. There's a spa day, of course. Yes, you have your spa day. I've with got you. the 10 years. I yes. probably need to meet a designer or something. Yeah, I'm looking at a number of designers you can work with. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What else is on the schedule, girl? Jim, Mrs. Zell, you have not been fit the longest. I checked with your gym. They mm. said you have not been there for six months. I know. And? Um, I've been busy. So what's the plan? Because they were checking. <laughs> your membership is being paid for. But you're not taking in to keep fit. I work out from home. I think I'm not impressed with how Mrs. L is, you know, defending herself right now and how she's explaining herself. It's like she's trying to come out of it in a very sleeky way, you know? Until I see her back in the gym, working out, I am believing nothing. I really don't have an excuse. I think I just... I just fell off the wagon. If you need to be up to speed with all the many things that you're doing, your mentorship classes, your natural hair classes, huh? your talks that you're holding, you're gonna burn out one day if you're not keeping fit. I'm not fit right now. I just have to admit it. So I'm just also trying to make sure you don't pass out on stage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Stage was on stage, like I'm an artist like you. No, the thing is, you are talking to people these days. I mean, you've become like a whole influencer mm -hmm. now. I mean, you are the beautypreneur. Mm -hmm. The beauty industry basically birthed the entrepreneur in you. My words. You, yeah, yeah, your words. You've been listening. You've been paying <laughs> <I> attention. <laughs> and I'm wondering, why would you want to replace a PA like me? I understand that it's not, but hey. Anywho, last thing on your schedule, Mrs. Zell, Latoya hasn't been available for Lala's shoot recently. And you know, she's a brand. I'm still stuck. I'm still deciding. I'm such a protective mother. And when it comes to Latoya, I feel like... I'm raising me. I'm very, very, very protective. And I'm trying to come to terms with her having to go public. I mean, I have literally created Lala's hair products for her. And I just hope that one day she will take over the business. If she doesn't, it's okay. She's her own person. Thank Ooh, you. I feel like I should repent. Delicious. Saying, I don't want anything. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you can. Do Ooh, that's a lot. Chicken. Oh my gosh, can you bring her a side plate? So you were saying? Yeah, so I was saying, it's not about that. Hmm. It's just me as a mother. I need to make a decision for her, you know, because she's a child. Hmm. She may act like she loves it, she's enjoying it. But she's still a kid, Lombe. Face back. Well, I hope when you get kid. home today, you look her in the face, you be able to decide. Because then she's the face and that's going to be coming up. I'm going to pray mommy. about it. <laughs> well, let's dig in the food as we hope you pray about it. Yes, honey. My day's been crazy. I believe in the power of delegation. It's always good to work with someone who's open-minded, who is able to take suggestions, whom you can advise despite being your boss. It's, it's quite good. I know so many people are in business and they don't want to empower anyone. They don't want to tell them what they do, their tricks of a trade. They feel if they tell anybody, they'll leave and they'll take it out there. I'm not about that. Even if you go out there, I will still get my clients because we're Glamville.